Dean, first of all, congratulations securing the playoff semi-final spot and an excellent 2-0 result today. Yeah, fantastic performance. I think the first thing from our point of view was um, when we sort of knew we weren't going to go with Chesterfield, was, was making sure we uh, get a home tie in the semi-final place. So congratulations to the players, supporters, our board, um, our staff. Um, it's a fantastic achievement to go from fifth to sort of like into the top three is, is a huge achievement for our football club. And uh, we've done it with just good, honest people. Um, and hard work, really. Uh, hard work on the training ground from the first day of pre-season. Um, the boys have been at it, to be fair to them. And I, I think I said that a couple of times in interviews I've done before where, you know, I know straight away from that fourth session of pre-season if these lads are going to be honest. And uh, I'd go to war with most of them. The next thing now is, is obviously we've got to dust ourselves down and move on to the next game. And... Uh, Please God, we can have three more games. A great start to this game. Halifax, a team we could potentially play in that semi-final, going two 0 up within the first 15 minutes. It was an excellent start from your boys. So. Yeah, we obviously we changed the way, way we usually play. We played the uh, day against Bromley. We played uh, through the towards. They tried to press us. We've come here today, played more direct, played the front three, steady. Obviously, change the system, steady. Kabamba and. Uh, and, uh, and Gats, and I thought they were a handful all day. We made lots of good entries, we were physical with our play, we managed to score up and restart, and, uh, and we had, I think we had another great chance to make a three. We never really made a three, uh, we had a good chance in the second half to do that, but all in all, look, I thought the lads followed out the game plan perfectly, um, and I thought our goalkeeper made some good saves as well when he had to, and we defended as a team really well, and, and that's what we're going to need. Great to get a clean sheet, which is, uh, which is imperative for, uh, for us to be successful. Danny Collin just spent a lot of their season out uh, out injured. Today, getting a goal and a clean sheet, a great performance from him. Yeah, brilliant. Good skip, uh, flick on and skip from the long throw. And then, obviously, Danny's completed his run. I think that's his eighth goal of the season. Um, he's a huge player for us, Danny. He's uh, one of our key players. And uh, I'm delighted he's back. And I thought he was excellent today. Um, I thought he was absolutely out outstanding performance because Hark was a handful and taught him and Skip uh, handled him really well. Callum said also getting the goal to he come off in the first half. Have you managed to speak to him and what's the situation with him? Just looks like he's got a dead leg just above his knee, so um, he couldn't fully extend his leg. So, look, he's going to definitely have some time off. We'll see the extent of it come Monday morning um, and then we'll just make sure he's right for when he's needed. And like you already mentioned there, in the second half, Keely made some great saves, keeping the clean sheet, especially with some of the conditions in that second half. It was uh, good to keep that clean sheet and the great defensive performance. Yeah, it's typical uh, northwestern weather up here. You know, it's sunny one minute, then it's raining, then it's blowing a gale, then there's hailstones. It's, uh, I know everyone down south having a nice day. My missus sent me a photo of the 21 degrees back home in the backyard. I think she was getting the barbecue on. So it's just, look, when you come up here, it's so difficult to win away from home in our division. And uh, we've managed to do it really, really well. Obviously, we had a bit of a venue change coming to Accrington Stanley today. Did that have any sort of hindrance on your plans towards this, for this game or not? Nah, not really. Look, we stayed in Leeds last night. It just shows your preparation so important. Um, we travelled up from Leeds. It took us a little bit longer than what we expected. I think it was an hour and a half to get up here from Leeds. So, but look, not really. If anything, it gave us an advantage probably, I'd say, because it's an intro venue. Uh, the pitch is excellent here as well, so uh, I think it was good for us. Harry Pritchard was a notice, noticeable name off the team sheet today. Uh, why was that? Uh, Pritchard's got issues with his back again. He's in for an operation on Monday. Um, so please God, that will be successful and we can have him available. I think after the operation, I think it's about five or six days he can be available. Hopefully he can be available for Kitty next week. Um, as well as that, we've got Tomo as well. So he's out injured. Wins is still out injured. Addy did train the other day. can feel it slightly. So we'll see if he trains next week. So we're in a little bit of not in a great place defensively and we haven't got a lot of defenders available so Stephen's come on today so that was that was promising and uh, look it's, that's down to the uh, medical department who I think have done brilliant this year I haven't praised them yet I think Jay and, and, and Ilias have done a great job um, so please God they can they can patch them up and get them ready for the big games. Obviously now we've got our playoff semi-finals secured and we've had quite a bit of an injury uh, list this season. Does that change your thinking ahead of the Kidderminster game next week or does it just go the same as any other game? We've got full strength. Yeah, we'll play. We've planned We've planned all this section. we planned sort of the last six weeks of how we'd like to rotate. We know everybody in the division, how we'd like to play. We've played two or three different systems within it and the players have followed that out to perfection really. I said after the uh, Chesterfield game to the players, can we go and beat him for the rest of the season? To be fair, it was we lost at Woken with an individual error that day, and I thought, you know, we should have we should have a penalty that day as well, really, shouldn't we? Um, I'm oh, sorry, a goal disallowed that day, and uh, apart from that defeat in the last wherever it is eight games, I think we, I think we've been. Uh, it's nine. Is it nine games? Ten, Eleven games? Yeah, ten games. Sorry. So I'm thinking there. There's one game left. Yeah. The last uh, ten games we've only had one defeat. So happy with our form. Happy with our commitment. Delighted for our supporters, you know, they've come up today, they're cheering us and 
you know, we've been, the club's been through some hard times in the last few years, but what we've got now is a real togetherness. And they drove us forward when, when they were asked some questions of us at 2 0. And at 2 0, it's always a dangerous scoreline. The next goal is so, so important. And uh, Brunt did a great chance to get it there, like clear it off the line as well. So, but look, from our point of view, I just want to uh, give everyone a pat on the back and say uh, congratulations for, for getting ourselves in sort of in that semi final spot. So we'll stay full strength. There'll be no days off. We'll be in, just keep to our routine. And uh, look, we've done all season. That's how we'll follow the, follow the game plan. Dean, congratulations and thank you for your time. Thanks, lads.